talk to you today about the special offering for May. And uh, I noticed that our Sunday bulletin speaks about what we had for the offering last month, but next month I'm sure it will state uh, for the Interfaith Council. Interfaith Council, as long as I've been a member of this church, which is many years, uh, we have been a member of the Interfaith Council. And um, I'm going to read, I'm going to talk, talk about it and read some excerpts from the Thanksgiving program, the Thanksgiving service at Rockefeller, the offering goes to the Interfaith Council. And they have in their program some very uh, pointed and good descriptions of what they do. First of all, the council seeks to provide immediate services through multiple food pantries, soup kitchens, mini grants, their case manager seeks to provide stability and long-term solutions through a listening ear and practical help to clients, such as addressing issues related to housing, health care, job opportunities, and life skills. Uh, one category that is pointed out is health and well-being programs, and part of that is food services. It turns out that six locations in churches offer either hot food or groceries on a regular basis. One of these we know about because we give to them, the Kenwood UCC Church, in addition to its open kitchen, which provides hot food four days a week, offers health care at its free clinic and the services of this case manager twice a week. Um, one of our earlier special offerings went to um, this church to help remodel their showers for people, <laughs> for people that use their services. Evidently, that's a great need, and they wanted to bring the showers up to a decent level of usage. Then the Hyde Park Union Church provides groceries and limited refrigerated and frozen foods to 500 to 800 people a month. I have a neighbor who uh, we also gave money to his uh, migrant program at St. Paul Mother Redeemer Church. And he used the food pantry at the Union Church to help this person that's in their program with food. And he, he strongly appreciated what was going on at the Union Church. He said it was very well organized, and uh, that's good to hear. Then they give many grants to, <clears throat> to organizations providing a variety of social justice services. And this year, I asked for um, a list of many grants that they gave from the treasurer of this organization, who is a member of the St. Macarius Church, which worships with us. Um, one of them went to a program called Organic Oneness. It's a grassroots social justice organization that brings people together to eliminate racism and create healthy communities in Chicago. Another one is called Every Mom Chicago. It provides essential newborn, postpartum, and breastfeeding supplies as well as community resources to Chicago households who are welcoming new babies under challenging circumstances. And again, they gave a grant to the Kenwood UC Church to update their showers. And finally, something called Paving the Way, which provided an eighth annual summer cool-down event, a 
community-based outreach program for violence prevention and intervention. The grant was used to support on-site on activities, purchase event supplies, school supplies, and book bags, as well as provide food and drink for attendees. And a special grant went to the hunger program to purchase a needed freezer. Some of their other programs, which are uh, very important, is the Anti-Violence Task Force. Um, this task force seeks to understand and address the root causes of and eliminate violence by offering education, resources, advocacy, and trauma-informed programs, all shaped by various faith traditions which have a common commitment to the well-being and flourishing of all human beings. Um, then the, finally, the Refugee Project, which from its very inception uh, was supported by the Interfaith Council. However, now they applied for and received a classification as a 501c3 organization which means they can raise their money as a nonprofit now. Um, let's see what I want to read to you some of what they do. The FA um, this December marks the seventh year anniversary for the first family welcomed by the Hyde Park Refugee Project. It continues to help resettle and provide support to refugees, asylum seekers, and other immigrants in our community. In the last two years, it has welcomed five families from Afghanistan who were evacuated in August of 2021, as well as families from Russia, Cameroon, Guatemala, and Ukraine. In addition, it continues to support families from the Democratic Republic of Congo and Senegal, and has expanded its outreach to our newly arrived neighbors. This year's summer camp provides, serves 59 children from this group of families. So you can see uh, from these varied and life-sustaining programs where your offering to the Interfaith Council will be spent. And um, to make a donation, I just want to remind you, you need to, if you write a check, you need to put in the memo what it is for. Or if it's cash, you can use the white envelope in your pew and designate a special offering in it. So from this, I hope you will feel generous. 